Hey, this, vet, this message is for how to set up the Cold Spark Fireworks um, special effect. So this is the case. Open up the case. Open up the case. Pop that open. So we've got the two Cold Spark Firework machines. I'm just going to pull them out. I'll do this one-handed. Let me um, pause the video and come back. So the way I place it is I place them, you know, here at, here, here at high def events, um, <clears throat> in front of the D DJ booth, a little distance in front, away from the speakers, but not so far out, you know, that people are gonna trip over it. So, have it with the logo facing out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that plug down there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug them all up and show you uh, turning them on. Everything you need, um, the, the, the machines are in the front big compartments, and then the back compartment has everything you need uh, with the link cable, uh, sham cloth, power cables, remote, and and the sparks. So you can get the plug. This is for the power, okay? And it's, it's, it's easy, it's color coded. Blue to blue, blue, blue to blue. Boom, clicks right into place. And for this outside one, I will route the cable behind the speakers. So, the power cable, I just put it behind the speakers. Drop it down there. And then we're gonna plug it up, plug up the power right there. So before I plug up the power, I, I plug up the link cable, right? This is a link cable, okay? It goes from, what it allows to happen is it allows one of the machines to control the other one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. So this part's very important that you connect the right plug to the right um, part of the back of the machine. So this end, this end, okay? This end is the output, okay? Output of the controlling one, okay? And the controlling one I always put on the edge closest to the door. The door's right here, okay? Right in front of the DJ booth, right? On this side of the speakers. I always put it right here, so, so you need to put this on the output, okay? This is, and it might say right there, DMX out. See that, DMX out, okay? See the plug? Plug it in, okay? So now it's plugged in. Now we're gonna link this cable out, DMX out, to the DMX in of the other one. Just gonna throw the cable same way we did the power. And so now, this is the input DMX in to the other, the other one. So it should say down there at the bottom, DMX in. See that? Put that in. Boom. Done. So now that the other one will control this one that's closest to the wall. Okay? So now I'm going to plug in the power. So what's supposed to happen? You kind of heard one turn on. I like to power them off, um, you know, every time we're not using them anymore, but uh, apparently that didn't happen last time, so go ahead and hit the little green switch. Turn on, the LED will blink, and now it's on. It's on old one, okay? Now we're going to turn on this other one. Turn it on as well. 
same thing, O1. And you know, we can tighten up these cables and make it look better. So I'll take care of that later. Okay, so now here's the important part. If I already have, you know, connected all this up, then you don't have to worry about the first five minutes of this video. This, this next part is really what you want to focus on. Before you warm anything up, you got to put um, the cold sparks into the machines. It's real important here, okay? You always want to pour it into this part with the, with the logo of a pouch. And it always has a cap, okay? Do not pour it into this part. This is where it shoots up. That's what this means. You pour it into this, right? You see the pouch with the little granules right there. You pop that open, and then we're gonna put cold sparks in there, okay? Now, I put, I put my um, granules, uh, the sparks granules in a test tube just to make it easier for transport and measuring, but we're gonna, we're gonna pretty much use um, the rest of this. In fact, you know what, I'll, I'll give them more than this. I'll give them more. I'll get another one and give them more. But we're gonna pour this into the top, okay? So this part's real easy. You just take the granules, pour them into the right one, okay? Put the top back on. Go to the next one and do the same. Take the rubber cover off. And just pour it in there. Okay? So this is the remote. The remote controls everything. And I need to get some batteries for it. But what you want to do is now you want to warm up the machine. What you do now is you point the remote control to the back of the device and what you want, what you want to do is you want to heat it up, right? So what I did is I hit um I hit power, it said FIF and then I hit heat on off. And you want to see this number going up. This is what you want to see. This means that the machine is warming up the granules, it, you know, all this, I mean, even though it's cold sparks, it does require heat to get the granules to go, okay? And the light is red, that's good. That means the, the, the um, burner is on, so it's warming it up, okay? I'll do the same on the other side. Well, apparently, um, because the control cable is connected, this black one, it's, it's, it's giving it the same command already. So it's warming it up. And I think once it gets to like 400 and something, then it's full and it's hot and it's ready to go. And you gotta let it go. You gotta let it warm all the way up, get all the way hot. Boom, so it's 500. 500 degrees is, what, uh, is when it's ready. Um, and you've got the green light blinking. That means it's ready to shoot and that's it. <clears throat> as soon as you see the FIF with the green light blinking, let's make sure <clears throat> that it's blinking on this side too. Boom. Yep, same thing. It's steady uh, green over here. I don't know why, but it says FIF and it's green. That means you're ready to shoot. And with the remote, you can do it from the front or the back. Um, I tend to just uh, use the number one and just hit it. Boom. Here we go. That's it. And then I'll turn it back off. I'll hit stop. Stop. But if you let it go, it'll go for like 30 seconds. Okay? And then you're going to have some granules. Like it's cold spark, but it still produces, you know, some residue. Just grab, grab the rag, the cloth, and just, you know, just clean it off. Because uh, you don't want you don't want to just leave you just don't, you don't want to just leave it on the machine, especially this machine being white. You don't want it to stain or anything like that. Because if, if you don't clean it up, it will stain. Okay. And to turn it off, just hit the power green button at the bottom. But it's ready to go. Okay. Thank you so much.
High Def Entertainment with High Def DJ, DJ HD, and High Def Events of Avondale. It's not just an entertainment company. It's a whole vibe. Check out highdefatl.com.